So name change, what happens if there's a name change? If you change your name because of marriage, divorce, etc., be sure to report the change to the Social Security Administration, the SSA, before filing your return. So if you get married, you change your last name, or you get divorced, you change your last name, or you just like some random name and you change your name or whatever, then you've got to let the Social Security Administration know they should be uh, talking with the other government entity, the IRS, and so that when you file the tax return, they need to be tying out the name to the social security number. If you turn something in that has a name that is different than the social security number, that's probably gonna cause problems. You might not even be able to file it. It might bounce back uh, because it won't go through the filing uh, system and, and whatnot if you're trying to electronically file. So uh, this prevents delays in processing your return and issuing refunds. It also safeguards your future social security benefits. So obviously, well, not really obvious actually, when you're paying into the social security system, that's the payroll taxes with a W-2 employee or your self-employment taxes with a Schedule C, then you're paying in the tax at this point in time and your benefits at the point of retirement age will be dependent in part, if it's still around, if it hasn't fallen apart by that point, will be dependent in part on how much you paid in. So. Uh, you don't want to confuse the social security system and think that you're like two different people, right? Because I guess we're just two different people. You want, you want to make sure that they're assigning all the money that you put into the social security program so that they will maximize the calculation of your benefits. So make sure if you're changing your name uh, for any reason that they still are knowing who you are from the social security side of things and will properly and maximally calculate your social security benefits upon retirement age. So ad, uh, address change. If you plan to move after filing your return, use form 8822 to notify the IRS of your new address. So you can look that form up 8822 to let the IRS know where you are at. If you're getting a paper return, a refund for example and you told them to mail you the check it's going to cause a problem uh if you moved but if you're getting an electronic transfer on the deposit it might not be as big of an issue and obviously when you file your next tax return you will be using your new address but it would be best to notify the irs where you are because you know they like to correspond by snail mail we got the P.O. box. Enter your P.O. number only if your post office doesn't deliver mail to your home. Foreign address. So if you have a foreign address, enter the city name on the appropriate line. Don't enter any other information on that line, but also complete the spaces below that line. Don't abbreviate the country's name. So they don't want to confuse the IRS, you know, because this is the U.S. tax law. Bill. Thank God, because tax law was never your strength. I really. So you start being in other countries, you're just going to confuse them over there, make it all very specific. Follow the country's practice for entering the postal code and the name of the province, uh, county, or state. So you're going to use whatever, obviously, structure they have set up to identify where in the world you are.